Welcome to my fragrance show. We'll learn together and grow together. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my fragrance show. I am Marshall's Blend Fragrance, and today I am wearing a fragrance from the House of Primera Perfumes, Kuwait. Shout outs to Batter, mi amigo from Primera Perfumes, Kuwait. This is fragrance number seven from the house that I've been trying out for this year. And I did spray it already. It's uh, 123. I sprayed it on at 930 and it's still going strong. What I got to tell you about this fragrance is that it is an easy to love. It's an easy to love fragrance. It's easy to like it. It's easy to love it. It's easy to wear. I think this is an attrape sans réfléchi kind of fragrance. And the fragrance I'm talking about is... Why? Why? Por qué? Pourquoi? <laughs> it's called Why. And I knew that it was going to be an awesome fragrance. I knew it. I was like, you cannot name it Why? If it's not, if people are not going to be asking you, what are you wearing? Why? ¿Qué tienes puesto? Pourquoi? As a matter of fact, a friend of mine said it was Vacano. You know what, bacano? Bacano is a Dominican phrase that means that it's awesome. It's on point. It's solid. And so, why is a fragrance that is bacano? It's a 50 out of 10. It's one that I feel anyone can wear. It leans masculine. Definite. It leans masculine. But it is one that anyone can wear. But it leans masculine. Get what I'm saying? It's one that I fell in love with. And I, I was like... I took it, I automatically sprayed. I didn't do a book bag strap technique, but I did like a mini spray, right? Um, select the sense, ask the question today. What's your spray routine? You guys know I do like a book bag strap technique, but I also recently been doing more of a traditional, which is one, two, chest and wrist, right? Sometimes I'll make sure to spray the back, you know, whatever, especially if I'm gonna open my jacket, you know what I'm saying? I wanna be able to have people smell me, so I take off my jacket and be like, woof, you smell me. So yeah, so I, that's part of the reason why. The guys, do not forget to spray your back at least once. How do you do it? You twist your arm back to the back. Let me see if I can show you. Twist your arm to the back. Can you see me? And yes, spray. I hope you caught that because, I don't know. Anyways, oh, this smells so good. This smells really good. And so I was thinking, I was like, I was in the kitchen. Behind that wall is the kitchen. I was thinking, this is, I was like, is it a designer niche or niche designer? It is a designer niche fragrance. You know how designer fragrances are made, for the most part, to be mass appealing, to be liked immediately, you know, especially in the opening. They are designed to be like that. For the most part, I say like seven out of 10 designer fragrances are made like that, right? And so this is like that, but elevated with materials that are just crisper, just silkier, just not designer. So that's why you know it's niche. You know they use quality materials. So let me tell you what it has. It has pink pepper. You guys know I love a pink pepper. It has fresh greens and I get the fresh greens. For me, the fresh greens are kind of like fresh green apple. Um, that's kind of what I get, you know? Jasmine and citrus and saffron at the opening. At the middle is nutmeg, rose, armoire, and orange. Armois. It's A R M O I S E. A O R A R M O I S E. If you my age, you know what I was thinking. Uh, right. If you're if you're from my generation, what was I thinking when I spelled it out like that? Okay. And then at the base is oak moss, vetiver, cedarwood, 
quite good. So this is a really, really good. It, you know, could it be called a fougere? It's fougere. It's a fougere, you know? Um, and it smells so wonderful. So wonderful. So awesome. So attrape sans réfléchir. So yes, do I get the rose? I get the rose. Do I get the pink pepper? The pink pepper is pink peppering. The saffron, interestingly enough, I don't believe is saffroning, at least not off of my skin. It's not pixelating. It's doing something else. It's, uh, it's, and there is a, a powderiness here, which I, I thought might be lavender, um, but there's a powderiness, powderiness here. I've never heard of armoire, so I'm going to I'm gonna come right back. I'm gonna look it up. Armoire. Because the armoire I know are furnitures. So let's see. I'll be right back. So I'm back. And armoise or armoisy is steam distilled from the leaves and twigs of the Artemis shrub. Yeah, so that's that is what armoire is. And it's it's what's contributing to the green smell. It's totally different. I wouldn't be surprised if it's also maybe contributing to some of that powderiness. Some of the oak moss might be contributing to that powderiness. There might be some lavender here that's not announced. Um, or a musk, but it's not a musky powderiness. It's it's like powderiness, I don't know. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. So this is a really good fougere. I am going to give the full four days of wear. I like it. It, like I said, it gets a, it's an easy 50 out of 10. It's one that I can give to anyone and they'll be able to at minimum appreciate how good it smells. Even if they're not particularly fond of fougeres. I mean, I'm not saying this is a definite fougere, but I, it's a fougere, you know? Um, so that's it. The fragrance is Why by the House of Primera Perfumes. Kuwait. Why? Why? It smells so good. It smells so good. So I think Armoire is going to be one of my new favorite notes. I'm going to have to see how it's expressed in other fragrances. But expressed here in Why by Primera Perfumes Kuwait, it's correct. It's absolutely correct. Again, pink pepper, fresh green, uh, green notes, jasmine, citrus, saffron, nutmeg, rose, armoire, orange, oak moss, vetiver. The vetiver here is behaving so well. So you have green notes, armoire, and vetiver, uh, cedarwood, and white oud. And the vetiver here, it really does behave well. Guys, let me know if you know, does vetiver, can vetiver contribute to a powderiness? So this reminds me of Guerlain. I'm not this, but I'm saying the way the vetiver is here. Uh, you remember Guerlain's vetiver? How it was what was able to help me kind of like open my mind to vetiver because there was a powderiness to that vetiver. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. So I, I don't know exactly what's creating that powderiness to it, but it's just wonderful. This, so if you're looking for a solid green fragrance, Fougere, solid green fragrance, why is the one to go for? I call it designer niche because it leans towards what we know as um, the really good designer Fougeres, um, but it's just, you know, it's made with awesome materials. So have you tried Why by Primera Perfumes Kuwait? Let me know what is your experience. <laughs> okay, guys. Love you. Goodbye, my lovely fragrance blender. Ooh, I'll see And smell you soon. Ciao for now. Love you guys.